Saliv salivary gland stones, tonsil stones, salivary uh, uh, glands are here. A mucus accumulation is stuck here. Okay, so you have you you have congestion of the lymphatic system. You cannot drain the acids out properly. It starts to affect your 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 upper GI tract area. If if one part is compromised, the whole body is compromised. It's just that your salivary glands are the only ones at the weak point here. But you, you're very likely your tonsils are compromised, your GI tract is compromised, your kidneys are definitely compromised, and your lymphatic system because stones are lymphatics and kidneys. So basically, when there's acidity in the area and the body cannot remove the acids, it will take calcium or cholesterol, any kind of alkaline chemistry, and to bind to it, forming the stones. So if you don't want the stones to be there, you need to alkalize the body. You need to jump on a fruit cleanse. Lemons are particularly uh, very uh, powerful for dissolving stones. So I would go on the undiluted lemon cleanse. And I would use herbs for the kidneys, uh, lymphatic system, endocrine glands, bowels. And uh, you want herbs like chanca pedra, fantastic for stones, okay, in general. It's more, more for gallstones and more for um, uh, kidney stones. But um, I would use it for the for the uh, tonsil stones and the salivary gland stones as well. Also make use of cleavers. Cleavers herbs, fantastic for the moving the lymphatic system. I would apply poke root on the area, all over the area. Um, poke root will move the lymphatic system. If you do that, you get rid of your stones in time, okay? Provided it's not too big, of course. 